Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. It's Wednesday, which means we get to visit with our friend Michael Babcock at TMZ to get the scoop on today's hottest stories. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, Kelly and Jeremy. Thanks so much for having me. Of yes. course. Woo, we got some hot stuff to talk about today. Yeah, we do. Yeah, so where do, where do you want to start? With Kim or with start? Rob? Okay. You, well, wait, do you want to start with, so we have two Kardashians. Do you want to start with Rob Kardashian or Kim Kardashian's 40th birthday party extravaganza. There we go. Let's well, do yeah, that. You're going to have to guess which one I care about least. <laughs> yeah, I, I do. Okay, so let's talk about Kim Kardashian, Okay, there, you got that right. <laughs> yes. So, so if, if people follow Kim Kardashian on social media, they have seen that she has been posting all of these photos from what looked like the most incredible and amazing trip slash birthday party that you could ever take. And now we have some information about just what they did. So... Kim turned 40 last week, and she actually took 40 of her closest friends, and she put them on a private Boeing 777, a huge airplane. She rented out this entire plane. It was decorated beautifully and actually flew all of her friends to a private island in the Caribbean. When they got there, she gave everybody a key to their own villa that was right on the beach. And they just had a week long vacation with, uh, you know, with all of with, with Kim's friends and family where she celebrated her birthday. They did all the stuff that you might do if you were on an island. You know, they they were dancing, they were snorkeling, they were doing a bunch of water sports and they just looked like they had the greatest time. Now, there was it was a star studded event here. Uh, we had uh, Lala Anthony was there. Uh, Tristan Thompson, the NBA star, was there. Uh, Devin Booker was there, uh, who happens to be another NBA star who is uh kylie's uh excuse me kendall's uh boyfriend um uh, wow. who else was there it, yeah they were they just had their, oh kanye west he wasn't there for kim's birthday because he had a prior uh, engagement that he had to attend to but he flew in kanye west was there so you had all these celebrities celebrating this just absolutely amazing vacation kim wanted to make sure everybody was safe guys so she tried to pick an island that had not seen any cases of covid and that's supposedly what she did so she made sure everybody was safe she rented their own plane gave them their own villas and they all had a great time wow. you know what this is just like a wedding i bet you there are some yeah. people scorned that were not invited because how do you yeah, invite I, I all of the right you. people yeah, cause you know what, I was thinking, Kelly, like 40 people, I, I might have trouble like finding 40 people that I actually want at my birthday party. But, <laughs> yeah. when you're, you know, when you're Kim Kardashian, she has, she knows so many people. There's so people you're mad right. at her today. I'm just telling uh, yeah, you. Imagine you were like the 41st person, yeah. uh, Kelly, and mm. you didn't get his invite. Didn't get the yeah. invite. I would have been pretty bummed, too. <laughs> yeah. Well, that sounds amazing. I mean, I just. See, now you yeah. wish you were now friends with Now I wish I was Kim. friends with her. Yeah. Now I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So speaking of Kim, though, what's yeah. going on with Rob? I haven't yeah. heard much from him no. lately. So, yeah, so Rob, you know, Rob likes to lay low. But uh, one thing that he really does enjoy doing is collecting cards, like sports cards. So uh, Rob got a, uh, an itch around uh, 3 in the morning on Tuesday to go and buy some cards. So he couldn't go over to the store at that time. And for some reason, these guys were actually still at the shop. And he's, he's friends with these people who run this, this big card store near his house in L.A. So anyway, he calls them and he says, hey, I'd like to buy a box. And because I can't get it right now, why don't you guys open it on camera so I can see and so other people can see? So uh, it's, a, it's an expensive box of cards. The, the actual cost of the cards can be like $10,000. So he put a lot of money down. But as the store owner is opening the cards and he's going through some good ones, like Joe Burrow is a, a big time rookie NFL player. He got a Joe Burrow card. Then the guy who is opening the cards just loses his mind and starts yelling and, and hollering. He's so happy. Uh, he said that uh, that Rob had gotten a one of one Tom Brady like special rookie card that uh, that is worth anywhere uh, between like 50 on the very low end more likely two hundred and fifty thousand dollars oh and wow that, what that, yep, and that is one of the cars that rob got so <laughs> the reaction was great because the, the the guy who owns the shop knew he's an expert on these cards he knew that rob had hit the jackpot 
And, uh, and he was so excited. And, and obviously Rob is too. He, look, he's got a lot of money, but, uh, that is, you know. Can I just say this is what I thought of? This is what I thought of, Michael. The rich just keep getting richer. That yeah, is true. That is true. That's I what I thought. Cars. Why you can't know, I get a good car, you know? Right. You know what? I was just realizing that Jeremy doesn't like either one of the people we've just talked about. <laughs> I, know, I, know. I can tell. <laughs> You know what? I should have started with Gwen, uh, Gwen Stefani oh, and uh, Gwen Shelby getting Yeah, engaged. that's good. <laughs> See, yeah, I can get on board with that. But I'll be honest too, though. When I saw that, I was like, wait, I thought they already married and had a baby. <laughs> well, now, speaking well, they've been dating for so long. They've been together forever, it seems like. They have. Uh, I want to go back to Rob real quick. Is he married uh, or what? Rob. No, Rob is not married. Okay. He has a baby with uh, with Black China. Yeah, the, right, right. That's I didn't know what their relationship status was. Yeah, me yeah no, not married. Okay, no. gotcha. So he's, sing he's single. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. For whatever that's worth. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so do you really think that Gwen... Uh, sorry. I, I didn't mean to imply like anybody, you know. <laughs> no, no, no. I was just being a smart aleck. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Okay, are we on I, TV? I, like, I don't even know right now. I just got that card, though. Oh, yeah, that would be good. <laughs> it would be. Okay. Uh, do you really think they'll get married, though? Blake and Gwen. Do you oh, see that yes. last thing? Yes. Yeah, so, right. So, so, so Blake, uh, Blake Shelton and uh, Gwen Stefani announced that they are engaged, that they've been dating for about five years, uh -huh. and Gwen broke the news on Instagram. She was obviously so excited about it. I thought Blake said, you know, he, he really kind of put things into perspective. He said, you know, thank you for saving my 2020, and, and really, thank you for saving my life. So wow. that's how he feels. That's how Blake Shelton feels about Gwen Stefani. And, uh, you know, uh, obviously, I think their fans are really uh, excited that they're going to be getting married. Both have been in high profile relationships in the past, but this is really exciting. You know, they're, they're opposites, and um, I think that really works sometimes. Um, now, Gwen just turned 50. Is he younger than her? Oh, that's a great question. I feel like he might be younger than her. I, I don't know. I'd ha I, I can Google yeah, it. Yeah, Google that. You yeah. guys chat. I'm going to Google. Okay. No, okay, here, I was we'll just, find out. Yeah, so, I was just... Go ahead. Yeah, yeah I, I mean... Oh, we're going to get an answer He's here. 44. He's 44. See, I knew oh, wow. that. She's a cougar. I didn't realize he was that young. Can that I tell young? you? Yeah. Wow. When I see him, I do not see 44. I no, see way he's, older. What do you he's a really? little bit older. Yeah, he but seems in a older. Way. He's, he's very he's handsome, but it, I thought he was older. I thought he was around 50. That's why I didn't know the answer to that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I thought 44. he was younger. 44. Wow. Well, good, well, good for them. She got herself a younger man. Yeah. She's like a cougar. That. She, that's what I said. <laughs> She's a cougar. I'm sorry, I was Googling Gwen. I'll just make sure. She's 51. <laughs> well, I thought she just turned 50. They just reported she had her 50th birthday. It says she was born October 3rd, 1969. Well, we, you know we can't do the math. I can't that. do math. Yeah, what are you talking about? Are you that's a lot of math. <laughs> That's way, I can't do that. No. I have a headache now. <laughs> <laughs> but Michael, be honest, we give you a headache every Wednesday. <laughs> hey, you know what I would like to do? Have they ever before sang together? The two of them need to do a duet if they haven't. They, I, yeah, I don't think they have. Have they? Well, I know the voice coaches all did a song together a couple of years right. ago. They did Extremes More Than Words. Oh, that's great. And here's what I have to say about it. I like Gwen Stefani a lot. However, it's weird to hear Gwen Stefani doing a cover uh -huh. because Gwen Stefani has such a Gwen voice that yeah. you're used to hearing her sing her own songs. Yeah. So right. when she covered Extremes More Than Words, like, it did not sound right to me I, in I my ears. That. But I that's just me. That. It, yeah, it, it doesn't sound right. What's oh, the name of the song? Okay. Okay, sorry, nobody Michael. But you, nobody But You, apparently they've collabed. Oh, really? Uh, okay, okay. Them. We're going to go but check that out. But let's get another one. How about we do another one now that they're, in, get, now that they're getting married? Let's make another song. I yes. think they should sing to each other in their wedding. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Michael. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Thank Great you, to see you. Thank you, Kelly and Jeremy. See Bye, you guys. next Wednesday. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, don't go anywhere. So much more fun on Ozarks Fox AM. But right after this, yes. so excited. Yes. yes. Gwen and... I want to hear them sing together, just the two of them. I want to play you that one song. Find that one, yeah.